Hey guys, welcome to our channel. I'm Teho. And I'm Amon. You're watching the Kapulu Standard. Guys, we started this channel a couple of years ago, but at the time we we're staying in a property that's not ours and it wasn't always easy to record videos. But this time, since we've moved to our own property, we decided let's carry on and do this. Yes, so we've got a, a lot of projects happening, a lot of uh, just uh, progress that we will be working together on this channel. Uh, building projects, planting projects, cooking projects. So, yeah. yeah, we definitely want to share a little bit of our life with you guys. But yeah, so this video that we're introducing today is um, when we started our house. This is when we moved in five months ago. And after this first video, we'll be keeping you with current progress. So we hope you enjoy. This is the house. Excuse all the clutter. We haven't started uh, working outside. We've been mainly working inside. And this morning, Amon just started uh, planting some lawn in the front. So he's been trying to declutter as he goes. So this is a full view of the sitting room. And I've just asked Amon to explain to us the things that's, that are still left to be done. So yeah, we still it's still like work in progress. Um, we still need to cover up the top with uh, this corrugated iron, like the rusted version. So we need to close up all the way up to the top, uh, and then finish off painting and putting the tiles. But yeah, slowly, slowly, we're just waiting for for the welder to come, and then we'll finish up this section, and then we still need to do the loft. Um, we need to put an upper room here, um, so it's going to be starting from, from this end, and then we want to put another third bedroom on the top. So the same thing with the deco, because we were looking at a more rustic um, look for the house, we are basically going to change the furniture and put something that kind of goes in with the theme of the house um yeah so these are the main lights for the house as well or for for the sitting room and there's only two of them here but we're also going to run lights on this pole and though you have some point into the sitting room and some point into the kitchen and then over here we're going to put timber we we're kind of wanting to go with the pallet look. Well, not really the pallet look. We're going to use pallets to cover. And then we're going to stain them dark. But um, it's very, very difficult to find pallets at the moment. So we just thought probably we'll use ordinary timber. And the countertop that's on this bar um, at the moment is is makeshift so we're going to put something completely different and this is the beginning of the kitchen of course um yeah so this is what the space looks like so we're going to have the bar stools this side and we're going to we're going to eat our meals from the countertop and this side is still pretty open um we have to put shelves inside here and then we're going to put doors and we're looking at timber uh, sorry, um, what do you call it? Tick. Tick, yeah. We're looking at tick. We started with tick, so we want to finish with tick. And they stretch all the way to here. And here as well, we're going to put tick doors. And the reason why we chose concrete for the sink, we just kind of were thinking sometimes water leaks for one reason or another. And we didn't want cupboards being damaged by... Uh, the wood being damaged by the spills of water. And so that's that was that thought. And yeah, the rest we've put teak cupboards, but the tops at the moment uh, are not done. We've just placed the wood on top and that's kind of how we're working with it. But they are not done. They have to be cut to the curve of the wall and be planed together. Is it planing together? Yeah. Yeah, and, and things. So there's still work to be done there. We have this here that we were using it with stained it white and we we're using it at the former house. But it's thick inside, so we'll also use it as 
is one of the shelves i guess and that's about it for the kitchen there's nothing special i think in the kitchen the wiring of the house has already been done and all we're, we're we're waiting for is to have zessa connect us which will take probably take a bit of time so currently we are <laughs> we don't have power and yeah the only challenge is not having the fridge we can make do without lights uh, but the challenge is not having the fridge and not be able to use electronics etc so um yeah to grind the coffee <laughs> this is the bathroom the bathroom is our pride and joy i think all our artistic abilities have been finished in the bathroom <laughs> um so oh they are starting in the bathroom apparently um so as you enter you'll see this block of wood this is piece of wood that Amon joined together and he was burning them and just to kind of give it an old feel so when we're okay so as i was still explaining the video card itself but yeah he he prepared this block of wood and then when it was time for fitting we realized because of the size of the sink that it was not um uh it was it was too narrow so he added one more block so i guess he has to finish um the look of the of the block of wood and that's what the sink is resting on and that's what we're kind of we're going to be using um just to kind of put your personal care products on top while you're using the sink or whatever and as for the sink oh yeah before i go on to the sink so we left this part of the wood to be to have the bark still on it just to give it that nice rustic look and then the sink was a bird bath but yeah bird bath yeah we were at a curio shop and then um i'm on it outside and he asked them if they were selling and they were selling and we bought it because the other thing that we considered was to cut our own. We, that's what we're always thinking we're going to do. But um, <laughs> by buying the material to cut it was going to cost the same amount as what it costed us. So yeah, we brought this baby home. Amon worked on it. He sanded it and he polished it for days and days. And yeah, so unfortunately we had broken this pop out thing. He has sanded it. It was completely smooth. We had broken this thing and he had to uh, remove it and put a different one. So I guess it needs a bit of sanding just to look nice. But that's the sink. Um, we've got the tabs. We're looking for black because we thought it will kind of look more rustic. Um, and the mirror. This was a railway sleeper and we had it basically cut and we decided to keep all the rustic looking parts um yeah we kind of like that ugly old look and uh, same as the shelves we have a couple of shelves that is some old rustic what do you call them railway slippers yeah so we still need to put a piece of something here for the toilet paper holder whether we'll use the traditional toilet paper holder or we'll look for a piece of wood in the woods somewhere. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to do that. Um, yeah, the shower, we, yeah, we kind of tiled everywhere except for the shower floor. We're looking for river stones, um, the polished ones. Um, but and we actually took a walk to the river to go look for them. We didn't find exactly what we were looking for, but we found something that works, so that's what's left to be done there. Um, this here used to be white, and we painted it black just to come to to go with the look of this house. And the other thing that's not done is the ceiling. The pink is the undercoat, and we're going to paint it white. Um, the light is also not installed yet that has to be done and I think that's about it for the bathroom so it is quite big it's well, it's not huge but it's like it's comfortable so next we're left with the two bedrooms so here we go this is the spare bedroom um, 
we are currently using it as like bedroom and storage space mainly for the Amon's art things so that's why all the paintings are on the wall um but yeah so this is the second bedroom and so what we'll probably do so all these cupboards are the cupboards that we used in our former kitchen we're going to try to paint them like how we did the top and try to sell them off and yeah, but what um we're going to do is we're going to put a closet the size so that as you open the door you'll see the closet maybe and the bed can be the side a little bit hidden um yeah so this is the spare bedroom yeah all the car everything is going to go all the once we establish Amon's office, all the art things, all these boxes are full of crafts. All the art things are gonna go, and this is just going to be a bedroom. So come along to the main bedroom. Obviously, the first thing that you'll notice is that the door itself is not yet finished. Um, this is the bedroom. So. I'll first start by explaining this wall. I think Amon was explaining why we're putting the metal sheets, but he didn't really get properly into the explanation. So when we were doing the roof, the the thatchers put poles that ran along across this way, and they they ran along also um, from this one going that way, and so this one here. It's sitting directly above the wall. So when the builders were building, they realized that um, the cement can't cling to the gum pole. Therefore, we had to make another plan to build up the, the wall. So what we are doing is we're putting this corrugated iron sheet uh, for that side. And um, it's drilled on a metal pole, which is above this gum pole. And... We're going to put something in between for buffering this for sound and this side we're thinking either to put the same corrugated iron sheets the rust the rusted ones or we'll put a board it's like thicker than zim tech um but it's the kind of board that normally buildings will use it to partition um their building that's what we'll do and yeah so this space here is where the closet is going to be. Um, so we need to put shelves and doors over here. Obviously, currently our clothes are everywhere. I've put the blankets over there. That curtain needs to go into the living room that's on top. And the rest of the clothes, we have clothes that we use in those bins. And we have the rest of the clothes, uh, the ones that we're giving away. That we haven't used in a while um and then we also have books books in those boxes so yeah that's where our clothes are currently um we haven't put curtain rails for yet we've wood um curtain rails and in the bedroom in the living room we're going to put um metal ones because they can curve more with the wall the side the curve is not too much so we didn't need um to curve them um yeah so the floors are concrete floors at the moment we thought we were going to just put a floor that we can polish just to minimize dust but we put the floor before we plastered all the walls and when the guys were plastering um some of the cement fell on the floor so it's rough and it's not very easy to polish so yeah and the bed we're using in this bedroom we, we've put it in the spare room and we're kind of injuring this mattress. So we're going to build a tick bed for this mattress. If if that's what you end up doing, we might use another different type of timber. But yeah, the only other thing with the bedroom is that this door here is the only other exit door. Um, because of the main glass doors in the living room and kitchen, because of how it's set up, we wanted one more exit and this is this door here it leads to the backyard
yeah so yeah that's all in terms of the bedroom and that's it for the rest of the house um yeah if you want to see more videos of what we end up doing with the house um please um like comment share um and subscribe and we'll be giving you updates as we go along